Afternoon world, welcome to Friday 16th of April. Not in the way. Just you volunteered this. Ow! Free haircut. I did not say it was free. Well no, but I think I got what I paid for. So Friday, traditionally, if we can, uh, is usually an easy day for the tree team. So it's usually a couple of simplest jobs in the morning if we can, and then in the afternoon, a bit of logging. Now it'll be adding power washing the trucks off so they're put away clean for the weekend, and a general tidy up. So guys have been off and done their two easy jobs for the morning. They're now out there playing with the eagle because Mike hasn't played with that yet so they're out there now just doing an hour or so of the login um, and I've started on the cleanup. So, yeah. You'll see.
said, that's my cue to stop for lunch then. Right. Well, I'm just going to take it that that's the skids to you telling me that it's time for a break. So, and I have to admit, my tummy does agree. So, it's one of those things when he stops like that, is if you keep start, keep going, he will eventually just start. And then you can go days for no problem. It's one of those unexplained things. I thought it was a swallow, but it wasn't. It was a goldfinch. So, it was nice to see the swallows back though. I've seen a couple of pairs now. Spring is here. Hello. Oh, something from my missus. How exciting. Hello, biscuit. Right, lunch is done. Shall we see if he's going to behave himself? for a minute and see if the guys are getting on. continue to play with each other. Let's get Come on. She's hunting small furry things in the loggy. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, you. I'm going there. Go on. Up you go. Get up. Up. Get up. Good girl. Okay, so that's the pressure washer out for the guys. That's their next job. I said to them, as soon as they finish that bag, they can uh, go on to that. Unfortunately, I've had to put this U back in the headlock because all she wants to do is beat the crap out of uh, that one. Her lamb, but all she wants to do is beat it. So she's got to stay in there another day. You're coming up. Come on. Let the 
pressure washers all plumbed in and ready to go. I'll put the rest of these away and then. That's quite much quicker, that. Is it? It's just uh, some of them don't like to get that. Uh, what I'm doing. Yeah, you'll read the logs. Once you've got the logs set out, but you just take it off, turn it around and put it to the other side of your go, so. Yeah, yeah well, it's much quicker like that, definitely. Yeah. Well, it's easier, easier than a chainsaw too. Oh yeah, well, yeah, Martin found that out. Yeah. He has found that out straight away. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so pack that in and um, I can, if you want to go straight onto that, yeah. I'll put these away. Okay. Because I, I, they've got to stay at the barn for a minute anyway, oh, because yeah, I'm right. putting logs in, so. Yeah, yeah you can just switch them off and I'll and just go do your wash off. Right, okay. okay. Well, I'm here, I just answered one of the comments that we had with regards to the Eagle processor. You stay there a minute, stay there. And the screw splitter. Um, I think someone was saying, oh, good luck with that. You'll end up with a basket full of shards and bits. Um, to be honest, this is splitting much cleaner than our Palax Combi 2 ever did. Uh, we were always, when we were delivering firewood from the Palax, we were always having, a, at the bottom of the bag, loads and loads of bits. But this, I reckon I can empty this bag out and there may be maybe a handful of bits but um this is actually split through pretty clean to be honest we're genuinely pleased with the results so and hopefully my customers were too so some customers liked the bits in the bottom of the bag because that was kindling others said it was a pain because they had to sweep it up yes yeah, so a yin and yang thing so anyway right we'll start this one um, i'm going to leave a couple of the bags out because some of them are softwood um, and I'll, there's no point in putting them in yet anyway and a couple of them I might well be delivering this weekend because that is stuff that was the guys fetched from the back of the heap and it was actually um, dry when we cut it it was dry we've had a dry week it's now ready to burn so okay right we will go back in now go on get up you ready to let you have a go? <laughs> Children. New toy syndrome, they'll soon get tired of it. Cause it still work. Right. We're gonna take Wolf out and I'm gonna put some of those bags of pine wood up there for the time being. There's no point leaving them out. It's past four and Martin's van's there already. 
Hé. Hey. Yes, your, your van looks very dirty, Martin. I think it needs a wash. <laughs> well, as long as mine's clean, that's all right. Hello? As long as mine goes away clean, you can do what you want with that. So that he's washing his own car. <laughs> A few perks, aren't you? Yeah, I got my orders. Log baskets are not very full. Mrs. P doesn't like being cold in the evenings, so, which is fair enough. Although I always thought that was my job, keep her warm. But apparently, log burner does it better. Name, Hitman. Hitman. Actually, the old pest control business used to be known as the Hitman. Yeah. That's what it was called, Hitman, yeah. So it was still listed as Hitman. Yeah, yeah he's at 100 metres yeah. and the second one's at 200. Oh, so, nice. Well, if I'm going to go after live quarry tomorrow, I kind of need to know that this is good enough. going where I point it. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, that job sheet's. Job sheet's out. Yeah. I'll just bung it on the table in the yeah, airspace we'll thing. All right, thank you. No problem at all. Have a very nice weekend, although I'll see you over the weekend, I'm sure. Most likely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, well, as you obviously gathered, I've been invited on a little muntjack forry tomorrow. There is a, a little stag that is on the shopping list, apparently. Um, I'm going for a variation on my firearm certificate. This is 2250. Um, I actually want to up my calibre to 243. And even though I've done my DSC1 uh, deer stalking certificate, um, but I spoke to the firearms officer, he said, well, actually what we really want on top is some actual experience. Well, I've done it, but nothing's been logged. So I have to have like letters to say I've done it and sort of evidence that I've been out and I've been, uh, I've had been mentored, if you like, for um, going deer stalking. So, although to me stalking a deer is probably no harder really than stalking a rabbit, apart from the fact that this is a bit more powerful than an air rifle. Uh, so, <clears throat> I have this this rifle is set to 200 meters for a 22250. That is well within um, its capable range. I mean, it's capable of a, a lot further than that. This is a very, very fast round. I think these chaps are flying at something like 3,600 feet per second. So it doesn't take very long to get from here to there. But uh, yeah, but I still need to know that I'm hitting a target that big at 200 meters, at least no bigger than that. So, uh, right, everybody knows what I'm doing. Not gonna frighten anybody. Shall we? Right, we're going to go with the 100 meter target first, just to make sure that I'm in the ballpark. Dogs are all shut in, scope set, scope set, just focus. Right then. When you're ready, 